I suppose well, we've always. I mean, when we first got together, we were all friends first, and so it wasn't. It wasn't like we were a band of, or like it wasn't like Joel wrote songs and they went right. I need a bass player. I need a drummer. I need a keyboard Don't player. In the yeah, enemy, yeah, we yeah. we just all all were friends who just all happened to love music and happened to play different things. And so, I mean, really, a- apart from Tim, who's quite accomplished, we've we've all kind of <laughs> learnt to play our instruments together. And so. As we kind of were being in bands, we kind of learnt to play and and learnt to write songs, and so I think I think that makes a big difference. That the foundation, the very beginning of the band, was being friends. And we used to just like jam in uh, Steve's mum and dad's shed, and um, you know when Kerry was at university and kind of stopped him That's sort of like from back going to university. Like, kind <laughs> of like uh, about seventeen at that point. Yeah, it's a long time ago. I don't think there's ever kind of one moment that we could ever pinpoint and say we at went. that point we sat down and went right. Let's let's be in a band because it almost kind of feels like we always have been in a band together. Yeah, and so there's no kind of defining moment. Um, it's always I guess it, it kind of been gradually, hasn't it? gradually got more kind of serious about it, and you know, because right at the right at the very beginning, I, I mean, I I moved to London and these three lived already lived in London, and we all four of us played together just just playing around really and then Tim went away uh, and me, Steve and Joel uh, did a three piece kind of slightly Britpop-esque slightly punky kind of just kids bashing out songs um, which was great fun And but that was kind of uh, one of those things that we got to a point where record labels started to take a bit of an interest and we we realised we sounded like every other generic band that was around at the time and hated what we did and so uh, we had a gig actually we'd um, done some demos for like island records hadn't we and we had a gig about a week later and three or four record labels had called and said we're coming to the gig and we were rehearsing and i remember us three stopping and just we're having this really surreal conversation where we're just like i'm i'm not enjoying this i'm really fed up i don't want to do this anymore and so we kind of rang all these record labels and said sorry we split up we're not a band anymore sorry we're not doing the gig um and then we started writing songs like from scratch again and tim kind of came back in and that was kind of the beginnings of athlete Kind of being dissatisfied with being like everybody else, and um, and luckily it worked out. Yeah, it's great. It's a really good vibe, and um, you know, I think you know, like with this new record and everything, everything feels really, really fresh and and exciting. And I think um, you know, um, when you feel that as a band, and then you, you know, when you you're playing the live shows, and um, that that rubs off on people, and you know that's why in the second, you know, the second song, I'm there. You know, you want to get people going, like from the off, you know, and you want it in a live show. You want it to be a um, mutual experience that you're having just for that night, you know. And uh, uh, yeah, you know, we play the same songs every night when we're on tour, but you want every night to be every night is different, isn't it? Yeah, a moment in itself. So. Um, it's always been someone, I think, who you know, um, bar the the one blip. Um, we, we've we've <laughs> always the fourteen million <laughs> selling. <blip. laughs> you know, we, we, we've we've always really admired like uh, what him as a producer, and uh, and I guess you know we've wanted to work with him. You know, we we looked at him on the uh, on the first and the second record, I think, and um, and um, uh, we, basically we just sent him a couple of demos just really 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 raw um form and uh and he just got straight back on the phone and and uh i just had had this conversation with him you know when he he was just like right okay when are we going to start and uh and it's uh, a funny thing because at the time we we didn't have a record deal so well that's what i said to him i was just like well look you know there's no money i have to be honest with you <laughs> there's no money so i, I don't know how we're going to do this he was just like well, let's just do it. It doesn't matter. It's this, you know. If you haven't got a record deal, it's the best way to make a record. You know, if you're skint, it's the best way to make a record. So, you know, and, and which is only half true, to be honest. Only <laughs> half true. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There comes a point when uh, when you're thinking, how are we going to finish this? Yeah. 